Hey, good morning, everybody. I turned my whole thing to try and get some light. It's Friday, thank God, huh? And um, I have the best story about this card and picking this card. So um, I usually try to do this the night before, and I pick a card, and then I write out my details, and if I don't have enough information, I look through one or two of my five bazillion books and try to find more details. And then usually by the end, I'm inspired by a... Um, mantra. But yesterday I picked this one card and usually the minor arcana cards don't have as much information. So I was just kind of looking through this one card and uh, I couldn't get a mantra and I said, well, let's go walk courage. And I called my friend Marty and then I'm going to tell you the rest of the story after. Um, I'm going to do a little promo first. If you're watching me on Twitter or Periscope, I now uh, or I have a page called Tarot Card of the Day. If you go to this website, just put in Rontowski and find me. At the bottom, there's a link to Tarot Card of the Day where you get these videos on your Facebook feed. Also, um, it's up on YouTube. I don't know if there's subscribers. I just put it up there because Facebook video is so stinky poopy. Okay, so um, that is where you can find me here. This is where you can find hemp oil if you want to buy it. You can find comedy shows coming up, whatever you need. little promo in the beginning. Also, wait, I'm going to say this. If you're in the Burbank area, uh, December or August, August 18th, um, I'm doing my podcast that I do with Kira Saltanovich called Karen and Kira Can Read at 5 o'clock at Burbank. Okay, no promos usually, just had to throw that in today. Okay, because I was talking about my website. So, Two of Cups. This card means contracts, marriage, mediation, harmony, creativity, okay? It is the law of give and take. They are giving each other their cups. The exchange of cups. The duality of creation. Um, whoops, I threw my pen on the floor. The woman is wearing white to show spirituality. The gentleman is showing, and blue over it, which is the subconscious. The gentleman is wearing yellow to show conscious, and it's very, very hard to see, but the symbol of the Trinity is on his little, um, that's the little symbols on the yellow. The caddius that comes between them, that is the Egyptian symbol of healing. The lion is a couple of symbols um, mushed together, but I couldn't find uh, the exact information. It was kind of a little bit confusing on it, and I was like, well, We'll forget about it. But this caddis you may recognize from the American Lung Association. Um, the house behind them is equal about creativity of humanity. The united efforts of male and female together. Okay? Um, don't let misunderstandings lead to separation. This is the only card that means the same thing reversed as it does uh, upright. I don't read reversals in my tarot, but this card means the same. I always feel like this card is more powerful uh, when we're talking about real love and commitment than the lover's card because um, it just is more, um, it just has more to it. Red shoes. Red is always desire. So red on shoes means you're driven by your desires and that's um, can be good or bad. There's your little house that I was talking about with the red roof. So where did I get my mantra for this beautiful card? Well, I was talking to my friend Marty and anyone who's read Big Magic knows that she talks about how ideas um, and genius is not a person. It is something that is around you and that ideas can be harnessed and grabbed. And the other day I woke up and I had song lyrics. I had song lyrics in my head. Now I didn't write them down, but I was like, I don't write music. Why do I, what is this about? And I told her and she told me about a friend of hers who once had that same thing happen. She had to pull over her car and write down song lyrics that just came to her. And she was told to save these until the right time. Well, it turned out she was much, much older and someone introduced her to a young rapper and she gave the rapper the song and he made the song and I found that fabulous and she told me what I believe is the first line of the song which fit perfectly with this card how great is that I'll see if I can find the car, the song on YouTube. I think she said it was kind of a hit or something. Um, so, and, so thank you, Marty. So here is your mantra for the day. 
Love is a magnet and we are all one, created from the same source which, from which all energy comes. How about that? Love is a magnet and we are all one, created from the same source from which all energy comes. Okay? Maybe somebody recognizes the song and can, can post it in the comments. Love is a magnet and we are all one, created from the same source from which all energies come. How awesome is that and that little story? You guys have a great weekend. I will see you on Monday.